Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel. Welcome back to a new vlog. It is Tuesday, March 12th and we have some diamond paintings to talk about today. Uh, diamond Art Club is doing another like Lil Diamonds release. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of speed talk through those a little bit because um, I remember when the Lil Diamonds first came out, I tried doing each one individually and then that on top of everything else, I'm like, you know what, we're just going to speed through those specifically. Um, if you want more information, definitely check out the Diamond Art Club social medias. They give obviously way more information. Um, but let's go ahead and see what is coming out tomorrow, which is Wednesday, March 13th. So it looks like for Lil Diamonds, we are getting um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So we're getting Leo, Raph, Donnie, and Mikey. Um, I never really got into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but that is super duper cute. Um, and then we are also getting Inspector Gadget, uh, as well as Brain. Not something I've ever seen either, so sorry about it. Um... And then we are getting Spongebob Squarepants. So we're getting Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy, Gary, and Plankton, which I think is really, really fun. Um, I love Spongebob. I actually do have a Spongebob diamond painting from Diamond Art Club, but I, I don't think I would be picking up the small ones. Um, I'm not a big fan of super small diamond paintings. These are all within like 12 to 13 inch range. Or no, yeah, inch. I was like, wait, no, centimeter, no inch. Um, 12 to 13 inch-ish range, so... I do really like the Squidward one though. His face is so funny, but yeah. And then we are also getting um, one called Rainbow by Cuteness Here. And then, did I forget to add one to my list? We're getting more than just that. Oh, I missed one. We're also getting Butterfly Hearts by Kali's Creations. Kali's Creations? I don't know. But yeah, so the little diamonds from Diamond Art Club are basically snack size kits. I believe mostly in round, if not all of them in round shape drills, that are basically made for like beginners or people that need a like kit in between larger kits to work on these are perfect so like I said those are coming out tomorrow and um, I hope everybody that wants them is able to get them but let's go ahead and move on and actually I should I should put this in my folder how many times during my vlogs am I gonna be like I forgot to put it in the designated folder um okay Let's go ahead and talk about the Dreamer Designs release we're getting on Saturday. We have Last Day of School by Trisha Riley Matthews, Square Drill Kit in 80 by 60 centimeters, 66 colors with 7 ABs. This one's really, really cute. I think Trisha Riley Matthews comes out with really adorable diamond paint, or not diamond paintings, but paintings with children in them usually. And I think they're really, really sweet. Um, I actually do have Pumpkin Time by her, and there's one on my wish list actually from Dreamer Designs that I want. I'm not usually the biggest fan of children in my diamond paintings. Call me, call me a witch, but I just don't, don't care for it. Um, I feel like she's an exception. I really do enjoy her stuff. Um, this one isn't my style, but I know a lot of people do really like this kind of stuff from her. So yeah, those are the sneak peeks that we have so far this week. Um, and I am actually about to go out to dinner with one of my friends, which I'm excited about. Um, I'm also four sections away from being done with Beauty and Chaos from Unimate. I'm so excited about it. Um, I have been trying to do a section of nights so that way by Friday I'd be done. Um, I don't know if I'll get to it tonight. I hope, hope I will be able to. Otherwise, maybe I'll do like two tomorrow. We'll see. But I also think I might be going to my parents tomorrow night. We will just kind of see how it plays out. But I don't even know if my friend's coming over after we eat dinner or not or how long we'll be chatting anyways. So I think there's a possibility I'll still get to diamond paint tonight. But anyways, I will talk to you guys in a bit. Hi friends, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, March 13th, and it was a long day. It was a long day, but I hope everyone had a good Wednesday. I did have a good day, it was just long, and I just got home from my parents' house. I had dinner over there. We had mashed potato bowls. Those are delicious. Um, it's literally just like mashed potatoes and then like corn and like chicken tenders in it and cheese. It's very good though. Um, but anyways, I come at you guys, <laughs> or I am coming at you guys with more sneak peeks to talk about. So I say let's get right on into it. Oh, you know what? I want to, <laughs> I want to mention something first. Um, you guys remember how I was telling you that I ordered from Dreamer Designs and I ordered the Vegas diamond painting and the San Francisco one? Oh, I got an email from them tonight and I knew this would happen. I had a feeling that the San Francisco one 
is not in stock. But it was when I ordered, um, so I need to pick a different one for them to send instead. I should do that at some point tonight, email them back. But um, it's whatever, I'll get that one a different time. But I was very much looking forward to that diamond painting, but that's okay. At least I'm getting the Vegas one. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the first sneak peek from Dreamer Designs, um, which I'm really excited about. And actually, the more I'm thinking about it, I kind of wonder if they would like be able to put this one as my order even though it comes out on Saturday like wait until Saturday and then do it and then get this one because I really like this one this is fairy and unicorn by Michael David Ward square drills and 80 by 60 centimeter 69 colors with seven ABs this is a really really fun painting um yeah maybe I'll see if they can do that like they would just in theory probably have to wait until Saturday to do it right like is that is that weird I don't know if that's a thing they'd be able to do but um if they could wait until Saturday that'd be great I'll keep you guys posted. Um, but this is so pretty. Ugh, I love it. Um, I, you know, I'm not usually the biggest like anime fan. Um, but I think this one's really pretty. And the unicorn's super cute. I love all the animals. I just think there's a ton, a ton of detail in here. And I just think this would translate so well into diamond painting. And I also think that the rendering on this is really good. So maybe I'll end up with that this weekend. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted for sure what ends up happening. But yeah, that is the first sneak peek. And then we are moving into two Diamond Art Club sneak peeks. The first one is She Remembered Butterfly by Jennifer Lambin Designs. This is available in a 22 by 28 inch or a 55.8 by 70.7 centimeters. Square drills with 67 colors including four ABs and three fairy dust. Another one with just tons of special drills. And this one's so cute. And I think it's really cool because it's like a butterfly. This one seems like confetti central, honestly. Um, I'm very curious where all of the special drills go. I wonder if it's like in the letters and also the butterfly. I'm assuming it's probably in a mix of both. Um, but this is really, really pretty. I really like it. And I feel like the size is actually perfect for it. At first I thought maybe it was like a little big, but there's actually a lot of detail. There's actually some words in the butterfly. So yeah, I guess it's not that surprising that they had to make it that big. So yeah, that's oh, that's super duper cute. And then the last sneak peek that we got today from Diamond Art Club is Aw oh Yeah by Adventure Time, available in a 17 by 20 inch or a 42.6 by 50.7 centimeter round drills with 17 colors, including two ABs and uh, three fairy dust. This is super fun. It's, um, I think, not the first Adventure Time picture that they've done. Um, I think the other Adventure Time picture, though, was, like, really big, and I don't even know if it's still available. I almost want to say it's a Mandy Manzano, but I'm not well-versed in, actually, I'm not well-versed in, um, Adventure Time or Mandy Manzano, um, but <laughs> this one's really cute, and it's just, like, it makes sense, because they were doing a bunch of cartoons earlier in the week, too, so it just makes sense that they're doing more. Um, yeah, this one's really cute, a pretty good snack size, like, it's not as snack size as some other ones that have come out this week, but this is a definite good smaller size so yeah those are the sneak peeks that we have so far i have three sections left of beauty and chaos i'll give you guys an update at some point on it but i think my goal tonight i wasn't gonna do this but what i think i'm gonna do tonight is put survivor on my ipad uh while i'm diamond painting because it's gonna be on in like eight minutes um watch survivor for two hours actually the episodes might only be an hour now because now we're past the second week Okay, I'm gonna watch Survivor and Diamond Paint and see how much I get done. And then after that, we'll see what I wanna do like after that. But I'm like trying to figure out like if I like wanna try to finish the painting tonight. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I'm kinda like, well, if I put in three hours of work on it, I probably could finish it tonight. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. You know what, I will keep you guys posted. The goal is to have it done by the end of the week. Again, I've got three sections left. I don't think that's gonna be that hard to do. And I'm kind of on a roll with it right now and I just wanna finish it, but I will keep you guys posted. Hi friends, happy Thursday. Um, so last night I ended up watching Survivor as you guys saw and I diamond painted two sections. 
Um, so that's great because I only have one more section left before I am completely done with Beauty and Chaos and I am making it a goal to finish it tonight. I don't think that's going to be like a hard goal or anything, but I do want to finish it tonight because it's crazy. I can't believe I'm on the last section of that time in painting, but um, you guys, tonight is the night that the Taylor Swift Airs tour movie is premiering on Disney Plus and you bet, you bet your booty I will be streaming it at 8 o'clock because I think it's, yeah, 8 o'clock central because 9 p.m. Eastern. Eastern, 6 there 9 p.m. Eastern 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific so 8 p.m. Central and that is my plan tonight honestly though what I need to do tonight I need to edit this vlog number one up until this point because I tomorrow right after work I have an appointment then I'm going to my parents and then I'm dog sitting so this vlog not like it matters at this point in time for you guys because you're literally watching it whenever it's up this vlog is gonna go up a little later again tomorrow because I have to dog sit. Um, it'd be very convenient if I had like a little a little laptop to be editing on, but no, I use um, my my desktop, so can't really bring that around everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna edit this vlog tonight up until this point. Probably we'll do that actually right after I film this, at least start it a little bit because I'm starving to be honest, but I'm trying not to eat dinner too, too early. Um, so I'll try to get a little bit done, eat dinner and then um, shower, do my whole thing and then um, finish, try to finish my diamond painting. And then I wanna be able to film the post review before, <laughs> before the Ares tour starts streaming. I don't know, to be honest, if this is even a feasible timeline for the night. Um, but honestly, regardless, I'm going to have the movie streaming on my iPad the entire night. I could just mute it while I'm filming. I've already seen the Eras Tour movie. Honestly, I'm just intrigued to see if at the end she's going to... I don't know if she would announce anything. But the way that everybody is just waiting for Rep Taylor's version right now, and it hasn't... Nothing has been released... Is tonight the night that we're just gonna get a surprise release? Probably not, but you never know. I'm clowning. This is why people hate Taylor Swift fans. I promise I'm not that crazy. I just like find it very interesting and that's what I have to say about that. But we have a few more sneak peeks to talk about. We have um, a Dreamer Designs and three Diamond Art Clubs. So let's go ahead and jump right on into the first Diamond Art Club that we have. We have Car Garden Fantasy by Sandra Burgess Bergeron. I can't talk today. Available in a 25.6 by 32.7 inch or a 65 by 83 centimeter. Square drills with 81 colors, including four AABs and four fairy dust. A lot of special drills in this beautiful canvas. This. Um, this has a ton of colors and I feel like I totally could expect this to be a high color count but I didn't expect it to be like that high of a color count um, but this is so pretty I think the rendering is really really good and a lot of people seem to love her artwork so I'm excited that she is releasing a, another kit with Diamond Art Club I'll be passing on this one it's not my style I'm not the biggest fan of like simply painting diamond what Simply diamond painting flowers. Y'all, y'all, my brain is fried. It's fried. It's Thursday. It's fried. Okay, we're almost to the end of the week, right? So <laughs> that is the first kit. And then let's go ahead and move into Dreamer Designs. We have Boho Dreamer by Rami Lerda. This is a round drill kit in a 60 by 90 centimeter, 74 colors with eight ABs and one crystal. Okay, I'm intrigued by the one crystal because it's like where, what color are you and where are you located? Um, I think she's really cute. I know this artist has a, at least a piece or two with Dreamer Designs and they're all very pretty. They're not like my style 100%, but I do think they're very pretty. They look like pretty high confetti um, pieces just like based off of, I don't know, it just, it looks like very abstracty artwork. Um, and I feel like that kind of lends itself to be a little bit more confetti heavy. Um, but she's very pretty nonetheless, and I'm super intrigued to find out where that crystal is. So that is the Dreamer Designs. And then we are moving back into Diamond Art Club. We have Lilith by Sarah Richter, available in a 25.6 by 31.9 inch or a 65 by 81 centimeter square drills with 42 colors, including three ABs and one iridescent. Sarah Richter's artwork isn't typically my style, but I do think it's very pretty. I believe she did Davy Jones Locker, which came out during Black Friday. I don't think it was Cyber Monday. I think it was Black Friday. 
That one I do have on my wish list actually. Um, typically her artwork is just a little too dark for me personally, but I do think it's stunning. Um, and this is no exception. It's very, very pretty. I feel like there must be some really beautiful special drills just placed around this canvas. And I just realized that it's three ABs and one iridescent. Did I say fairy dust? I hope I didn't, but it's an iridescent, not a fairy dust. Um, but yeah, I wonder what the iridescence going to be. I'm wondering if it's going to be like in her jewelry on her body. Uh, very, very stunning. And I love the dragon in the back. Very fun. And then the last sneak peek that we have today is Peaceful Paradise by C Steve Sundrum, available in a 38.6 by 27.6 inch or a 98 by 70 centimeter square drills with 60 colors, including four ABs and two fairy dust. You guys know how I feel about Steve Sundrum at this point. I... More recently, he became, like, somebody who's been on my radar. I didn't really know his artwork before recently, but I think his stuff is so fun. They keep releasing the stuff that I'm not sure I would want to diamond paint, um, but I know there is some in his, like, collection of artwork that I would really want to diamond paint if it ever came out. Um, this piece, very stunning, very fun, very colorful. A lot, a lot of greens, it looks like. I'm just pulling it back up a ton of greens which is my favorite color in regards I guess I'm more of like a mint green person I'm not a big fan of other greens but mint green is my favorite so maybe this isn't I mean I'm sure there are some minty shades in here um a ton of confetti I'm sure but I'm sure it would look so stunning so yeah you guys those are the sneak peeks that we have today I'm gonna go ahead and try to edit this video um, I was talking to you guys yesterday a little bit how my dreamer designs order um, I got an email from their customer service and might I just say their customer service is fabulous I asked them if I could get the newly releasing kit that's coming out on Saturday that I talked about earlier the I think unicorn and friends kit and they were like no problem and so I was like wow this is amazing so I did get a shipping notification but I'm pretty sure it was just for my Vegas kit and then the other one will just ship out on Saturday, which is totally fine. I said they could wait until Saturday to ship it. Not a big deal. I was just really happy that they were able to put that other kit onto my order instead. So just a little update for you guys that Dreamer Designs customer service is top tier amazing. So anyways, you guys, um, I am now actually going to go edit this vlog a little bit, at least import the footage. I'm going to try to get a couple clips edited. The longer I talk, the more I'm going to have to edit. But anyways, you guys, I will catch in. Maybe when I finish Beauty and Chaos, because I do definitely want to show you guys the kit once I finish it. You guys, I finished, you guys. Also, fun fact, this lamp had blue on the inside. I changed it to the yellow AB at the last minute, so I just popped out the drills. It's really hard to see. I popped out the drills and added uh, yellow ABs in instead, but you guys, oh my god, it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shower and then film my post review and tonight is going by really well. We are making good progress on like what I wanted to do tonight. Hi friends. Okay, so I'm currently at my parents' house. It is Friday, March 15th and I'm at my parents' house. Um, so this vlog is definitely going up a little bit late, but um, currently dog sitting, Zeus is eating, um, but I have the last of the sneak peeks to talk about with you guys, um, and I can safely say that I am once again safe this week. Anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and hop right on first into this first sneak peek that we got today from Diamond Art Club. Also, I never vlog like this, so I don't even know, like, the best way to, I don't know what the right angle is, but um, anyways, so this is like wildly uncomfortable for my arm. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the first sneak peek. We have Bruno the Stained Glass Pug by Peggy Collins, available in a 41.3 by 27.6 inch or 105 by 70 centimeter. Square drills with 60 colors, including four ABs and three fairy dust. This is inc <laughs> this is incredible. Um, how big is it? 105 by 70. That's huge. That's huge. This is really, really adorable. I know a lot of people love Peggy Collins. I understand why she was left until the last day. Um, and this has like a 
ton of confetti it looks like so if you're into confetti you might really like this piece um i feel like peggy collins like you just know this is what you're gonna get and it's always so adorable so that is the first sneak peek and then moving on into dreamer designs we have man's best friend by wumples square drill kit in a 60 by 60 centimeter 69 colors with 10 ab's wow okay this is super cute um I, i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure what kind of dog that is um also wumples i don't know it, it's giving like a little ai a little bit a little bit i don't know for sure if it's ai but it's kind of giving it just a tad um this is not something i'm gonna pick up but um i know a lot of people love the dog kits love the cat kits love the animal kits so i do know that this one is gonna be um on a lot of people's i feel like carts and wish lists so that is the dreamer designs also i really need a better setup this is awful uh, give me two seconds. It's the way I have you guys propped up in the weirdest way possible now, but at least I have both hands free. So <laughs> moving on into the next sneak peek from Diamond Art Club, we have Night Portal by Yasu Art Studio. This is available in a 25.6 by 36.2 inch or a 65 by 92 centimeter square drills with 63 colors, including two ABs and three fairy dust. I was watching the sneak peek video for this this afternoon and it looks really, really nice. Um, this isn't my style, um, but I, I do think this one will sell out really fast. Um, I kind of just have a feeling. I feel like a lot of people really like the like fantasy magical elements um, in their diamond paintings, and I feel like this one kind of just fits the bill really well. And the color scheme is like a really fun vibe. Um, so I really do think a lot of people are going to like this one. It just is not really my style to diamond paint, but... Yeah, that is the third sneak peek. And then the last one that we got today is Moon Eater by Yume Art. Available in a 23.6 by 30.7 inch or a 60 by 78 centimeter. Square drills with 42 colors, including three ABs and one iridescent and two fairy dust. This one, I think in the Diamond Art Club VIP group, this was the uh, cover photo this week. And so I expected this one to come this week. Um... Yume's art in general for me personally, I love it all, but for diamond painting purposes, it's kind of a hit or miss for me. Um, I don't think I'm going to be picking this one up, however, I do think it's really, really cool. And I do really want to watch the sneak, peek, the sneak peek video for this. I'm sure it's rendered gorgeously. I feel like there's got to be a bunch of special drills everywhere. It just looks like that kind of art style that would just have a bunch of special drills, so... Yeah, you guys, those are the sneak peeks for this weekend, and I actually think I'm going to end the vlog off here. I just like heard Zeus like crunch on something. Um, he's eating his dinner, but that just sounded, that sounded harsh. Um, but anyways, you guys, I'm gonna end off the vlog here because when I get home tonight, I'm just gonna finish editing this and just upload it straight away for you guys so you guys can have it hopefully in time for tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.